Good morning, folks, and welcome to Sequim. Sequim? 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 <laughs> Washington? I don't know. I'm here with my boys, Larry and Schwinley. What's your boys? <laughs> we are walking down to this path that leads to a river behind our Airbnb that we stayed in last night. We're on a little bit of a Washington trip and we're just kind of going around looking at Washington towns to possibly buy land in in the future. So this one's just another one on the list, folks. And we haven't really seen, I mean, we drove into it last night, yesterday we spent the day <laughs> in the Olympic National Park, and it was beautiful. It was seriously stunning. So I wanted to vlog today, show you some of the sweet, sweet beauty, take you around where we're going to in other towns, and we're staying in Forks tonight for all you Twilight fans out there. You know what the fuck I'm talking about, all right? <laughs> okay, I'll see you at the damn river. Look at that cool little truck. Look at my freaking gloved finger. It looks like I'm saying, arg. Um, <laughs> The truck underneath the sunlight right now is so pretty. It's a beautiful snow weekend. We took a trip up to Washington. <laughs> we left Oregon. And it was really snowy there too. Um, uh, okay, let's keep going. You're so awesome, Larry. You love to be in the snow. Look at your little snow nose. Yeah, you just want to jump, run and jump into that. Nope. I do not want to run and jump in all of my warm clothes. Oh my god. bridge is pretty shaky. You are getting freaking crazy over there with your German pancake. We came to the Oak Table Cafe in Squim. This place is actually called, it's called Squim, not Sequim, <laughs> nothing like that. Not Sequim. Not Sequim. I got my huge hash browns, eggs, toast. We're having a freaking party. A treat today. Yeah, you're having a bit of a victory. Look how big it is. Hello, Mr. Gooby. <laughs> Mr. Gooby. <laughs> you love Jack Johnson. You're so handsome. You're so handsome, Mr. Gooby. I love you, Mr. Gooby. Mr. Gooby, what are you doing, you What we will be Beautiful. A little bit of a dirty windshield. We're walking down right now to Dunganese Split, I believe it's pronounced, but then again, I pronounced squim wrong, so don't trust me. But it looks like the last person who was at this lookout was really in love. <laughs> Put a little M&F in there. Baby, don't go over somebody else's. Check that out. <laughs> oh, commandeered. <laughs> I didn't even have to draw the heart. Larry, do you want to put your nose in the snow and maybe draw something for Haciendo? Here, Larry, I'll do something <laughs> for you. <laughs> Guys, we're in Port Angeles right now. We really just wanted to drive through to see it. And then I also, because this is one of the biggest towns around, I don't know why I'm filming out the window and not myself. Um, we wanted to, well, I wanted to stop here and get some freaking hiking slash snow boot combo uh, because I only brought rain boots on this trip and if you've ever worn rain boots in the snow, you know, your toesies are gonna freaking freeze off. Use something to be desired. Yeah, so we just stopped at a Goodwill in Port Angeles because this has like, what, 20,000 people or something? Um, and a bunch of where we were earlier, Squim has a lot less than that and not a lot going on, you know, kind of bumfucky around places like this. So, 
yes, straight for 47 miles. I just got a pair of corduroy pants and a, <laughs> these baddies over here, this nice royal blue color, and a pair of hiking boots for 925 or 975. Yeah, 975. Like a nice hiking boot. It's like unused hiking boots. Yeah, I mean, used, Coleman but like brand gently used. Like no tread. tread. 100%. I'll show you my bad boys right now. Look at these. The tag on the bottom said 499 and then these pants were 699. So that should have added up to way more than $9, but maybe I got a discount or some I don't know what <laughs> I don't really know what happened. Oh, but I mean, shit. check them out. Incredible, $4.99 for a pair of just gently used Coleman Hawken boots. My toesies are already feeling a lot warmer. I was losing feeling in them, so. You know, like a pair of shoes like this at a hiking and gear store yeah, would be like- Like a hundred plus dollars. Really? I mean like at least 80, for like a nicer pair. I'm sure if you get, if you go to like a shoe outlet place, you'll get them, you can get them for like 40 bucks or something, but like wow. a good pair of hiking boots is definitely expensive. Yeah. Now we're headed to Beaver, which is about an hour away from here. Just down the 101, baby. Through the snow piles. Just kidding, the roads are pretty plowed. It's been a, an easy drive. At sea level, our atmosphere absorbs most of the deadly radiation. But even on a normal plane ride across the United States, <laughs> we receive an extra milliram of radiation per hour in the jet. The equivalent of a dental x-ray every time we take a cross-country flight. Being on a two-year interplanetary trip, an astronaut would receive about 200 times the radiation of a twin who stayed on the Earth. That Several Crescent months Lake on the red planet before the Earth is in oh, the right yeah. alignment for the return trip. This will give them time to scout the terrain, do experiments, such as looking for traces of water and microbial life, and set up solar panels for power. Guys, this is the city of Forks. <laughs> If you're ever curious or if you're a Twilight Stan who wants to come to the town just for this reason, it's nothing too crazy. You know, you got a nice true value hardware, you got a couple of coffee shops and gas stations. Oh my god, is that Bella Thorne, baby? <laughs> Bella Thorne. I think you're thinking of Bella Swan. <laughs> What's the girl in it? Bella Swan. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Oh, I don't know my pop culture, okay. Yeah, I mean, I had one name right, which is pretty darn good. They have the Twilight posters in this um, art center. But yeah, I think this is pretty much just a logging town like around where we live, so. Wild. So pretty back here. They're what? They're saprophytes, saprophytic mushrooms because it's a dead tree. But I don't know what the fuck these things are called. They're not a garicon, which is what I always want them to be. Boop. They last a long time. Yeah, they really do. Pretty badass. Okay, Larry, more bridges today. You gotta put on your big your big boy boots. <laughs> I hope you can do it. <gasps> baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Tell me you got that on film. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a little mini splits right there. That was tragic. Well, at least now we have a strong answer that no, I cannot do that. <laughs> oh, I didn't spill very much beer though. It's so funny how you'll fall and you'll be like scared for your life and you're like, just don't tip over. You ever seen that subreddit? No. Are you hurt or are you okay? Not your groin, baby. Get a little massage later, man. <laughs> oh shit. I gotta turn off the camera. Look at this log we just walked across. It's a giant log and it has this kind of like chicken wiring underneath it so you get your grip and then it has 
a nice railing on the side of more logs. But it's so cool. Right, a baby Larry is kind of waiting for you. Okay. Two stinkers cross the bridge. Oh, wow. You're kind of beautiful out here, baby. Yeah, you too, Larry. Don't worry. You don't need to be jealous. <laughs> They're awesome, baby. Larry's the most awesome. Yeah, he was. He gets more spooked to the slats in between, I think. Yeah. Thank you for presenting your beautiful noggin. Like, this is exactly why I think. This is why I think that you literally read my mind is because I was like, I wish you would just pick up my camera and vlog. But then I was really into the song, so I didn't ask you to vlog, and here you are, just you knew. Baby. That is so cool. We are like coordinated on a conscious it's level. Like we're just dude. like one or something, bro, you know? I'm sorry, this footage is shaky as shit. It's okay, it's a hard road to drive. <clears throat> but yes, brother, we are one. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, do you want to be one with the Trinity? <laughs> oh my gosh, stop peeking your face in, you freaking cutie. We're gonna eat pizza on the beach. There's plenty to be excited for. Yeah, I know your back left paw is hurt. Oh, noggin mouth. Yeah. You love a big rest on your father's hand. I got this pizza delivery guy to come and meet me at the beach. <laughs> He's going across all of these awesome logs and we came to Ruby Beach. There's a little tide pool kind of looking lakey thing over here and Larry's here as well on the rocky beach hanging out with us and we're gonna enjoy this beautiful sunset and eat freaking pizza. Come on Bushy! We pretty much made it just in time. I was getting pretty nervous that we were gonna miss sunset, but we're in mo her most rich stage. Wow, sir. I didn't this think you- Scarn. Did you order pizza? <laughs> it's awesome. Pretty cool I... sequel, huh? Yes. That's the best sequel to Michael Scarn I could have ever hoped for. Oh my gosh, this is just beautiful. I'm truly freaking out. Washington beaches, man, really providing for us this evening. This is a beach outside of the Olympic National Forest. What a beautiful date, just for us three. And you guys watching, you're here too, I guess. <laughs> Wow, that's a pretty fat wild boar you found on this beach. He's not doing any play. I know. I think he's tired. His foot hurts. Tired, cold, Do foot you hurts. Walk this way real quick before the sun's all the way down. Sure. Look at that random rock. We made it to our Airbnb in Forks. If you're wondering what the noise is, so the pipes don't freeze. You gotta run the water, baby. We brought the last slices of our pizza, and this is like the little tiny house that we're staying in. So you just come in here and you say, oh, I'm gonna hang up my jacket. I don't know who this man is, don't know who the dog is, that he's riding like a pony. Um, and then you just go upstairs and that's where our bed is. The bathroom's in the back, back here. They have one, two TVs. <laughs> Crazy for the TVs. Yep, pretty average bathroom, you know, just the old standard. This bathroom kind of reminds me of that trailer they used to live in. Okay, well, I just whacked myself in the head, so just, you know, be mindful of the roof if you come up here. This is kind of cute. There's also a hot tub here, so we might get into a little bit of some tubbing tonight. I 
secretly packed our bathing suits. We need some when you have a private hot tub. <laughs> Guys, I showed this on um, Instagram and Twitter, but we're staying at the Three Rivers Resort in a little like tiny house Airbnb situation, but look at their menu. They also, I'll show you guys tomorrow if I remember, but on the way in, they had like a billboard sized welcome sign with Jacob from <laughs> the Twilight movies on it. And then they also have like another sign outside of their freaking restaurant that was like vampire threat level or something. And it was like my own danger, like a fire threat, but vampire threat <laughs> danger. So. Oh, yeah. Oh. Got that one right. <laughs> but I shared them and so many people were like, oh my god, please tell me you're vlogging that you're in the town of Forks and stuff like that. You know, I think we got a lot of Twilight fans out there, baby. <laughs> yes. Thumbs up if you're okay, team this Jacob. Is, this is working. Comment if you're team Edward. <laughs> tell them to comment if you're team Jacob and thumbs up if you're team Edward because I'm personally a Lautner fan. <laughs> Personally, I actually, I might have to err on the side of Jacob as well. He was just so caring for her, you know, and he was less possessive and fucked up. He's beautiful, dude. He is beautiful. He's one beautiful man. Doesn't he jump off a big rock? I yeah, I think we were at that, Ruby Beach today. And that was a good time, dude. Like, that would be fucking a good time. That would be a good time. So, they go like, like a he's part of like that little guy, pack. He knows how to have a good time. He really loves cool, to party. Hip, loves to party, Trusting. but not too much, you know. He's really honest and responsible at the same time. Trustworthy. <laughs> Got long hair. You never know with that only, guy. Doesn't he only have long hair for like five minutes? And then he, yeah, he cuts it off after oh, New Moon. Taylor. <laughs> My favorite part of those movies is Bella's reaction to the guys. She's like, oh, you just, uh, you look so good. Jacob, Jacob and she's like all twitchy and stuff like that. It's she's awesome. She's like reflecting every woman in the audience. <laughs> no, she's just really like awkward. Oh, awkward. <laughs> yeah. oh, I thought you meant like overly excited. No. We're leaving Three Rivers Resort. Jacob's den is right there, and it says Stephanie Meyer Day with We're like fire Jacob light. right there. Right, it's on the other side. Hi guys, so obviously we are back home now. I'm pretty sure the last shot was me showing you um, the like billboard outside of the Three Rivers Resort we stayed in that was really going hard with the Twilight stuff. Uh, we had a great time staying in Forks for the night. Basically what we took from the trip is it was super fun to visit there and hike there, but we wouldn't move there, you know? Um, we already live in a pretty bumfuck area and I don't think that our goal in settling down and buying property in the future is to move to an even more bumfucky area, you know? So it was just a good time. It was a good little vacation, but you know, not our forever home. <laughs> I also wanted to say that yesterday, instead of ending off the vlog, we went on a hike to the Quinault Rainforest in the Olympic National Forest. There was like a sector of it that we hiked and it was so stunning and beautiful. So I would definitely recommend visiting there. And we also, I just have to say this because I shared it on my Instagram. We had dinner at La Cabana's restaurant in Aberdeen, Washington. And it was some of the best cuisine I've, I've ever had. It was like Salvadoran and our waitress was so nice. The place was great. The food was great. I just had, it was like the greatest meal I've had in a really long time, honestly. I just left the restaurant and I was just, I was walking different, you know? I was like, oh, what a great meal. <laughs> so I wanted to shout out that restaurant because it was in like a really random kind of town. But yeah, if you're ever passing through Aberdeen, Washington, you know where to go. I also wanted to say just a quick outro for this vlog. Um, I'm going to India in two days with Finley and his parents, and I'm going to be filming, you know, bits and pieces of what I can film, you know, what I feel comfortable filming. We're gonna be traveling like in a group of people and traveling as monks and like meditating together and meeting important people in Buddha's life path and whatnot. So whatever I wanna show, I'll show and I'll compile into, you know, maybe one or two India vlogs, but I will be filming a bit there. I won't be able to have a, an India meetup because we'll be so busy and like traveling as a Sangha, you know? And I don't wanna be like, hey, can we stop in this random town 
and have an India meetup for me, it would just be weird, you know? So that won't be happening, and I apologize, but I'll be sharing, you know, all of the baloney on my Instagram, hopefully, if I can, or maybe I'll just be taking a break from Instagram. Who even freaking knows? You know, I'm pretty un unpredictable over here. But I will still be having a bunch of videos going up in these next few days before the trip, and even during the trip, my management is gonna put the videos live and tweet them out so you guys are still getting that sweet content. You know, I pre-filmed a lot for this trip, so I hope you enjoy. And I love you. Thank you so much for watching another one of our road trip vlogs. I like doing these vlogs, though, because I just think that they're fun to be able to show you the places that we travel to and whatnot, and I hope that you enjoy watching them. And if you do, please give them a big thumbs up, or this video, a big thumbs up, and then watch all the other road trip vlogs. There's a lot of them. Uh, I love you guys. I'll see you and talk to you very soon, okay? And you take care. All right now? You hear? <laughs> Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, ring the notifications bell if you would like to be notified when I upload, and until the next upload, stay smiling. Bye guys.